Do you recall uh, what injuries were sustained by Mr. Yes. What? Um, <coughs> he had a full thickness burn to his uh, chest, down to his abdomen, and then a uh, partial thickness burn to the, the tip of his penis and scrotum. Was the engine of the vehicle on throughout the entire process? Yes. Did you see uh, any of the police officers uh, make any attempts to help Mr. who was trapped under the car? Not that I can recall. And I think you told me, you, you asked somebody about turning the car off, right? Yes. Um, made sense to you that if they turn the car off, the kid might stop burning at some point, right? Initially, yes. I mean, you knew, you knew he was burning under there, right? When I asked the question, no. I wasn't sure what part of the car was on top of him when I got there. When you looked underneath, though, you could see the smoke uh, or the steam coming off of his body, right? No. It was dark. I had a hard time seeing anything other than his arm. The area wasn't illuminated by anything, by the lights? There were lights, but it was still in an alley, right. dark. So if other witnesses testify that they saw smoke coming from underneath the vehicle from Mr. <laughs> body, you're not, are you saying that they're wrong or that you just don't recall the same thing? That I do not recall that. Okay. But you were in very close proximity to him, in fact, close enough to administer an IV. Yes. Could you smell his flesh burning? Yes. Okay. You knew he was burning at some point? Yes. Not necessarily when you first arrived, but at some point you smelled the flesh burning under the car. Yes. Was it before or after you smelled this flesh burning that you asked about somebody turning the vehicle off? I asked before I got close enough to him to smell. So it was at least nine minutes until you got to the patient, right? Yes. And then you were at the patient for at least a couple of minutes before he was extricated because you administered an IV. Yes. Is two or three minutes a fair es estimate as to what you would estimate you were at the patient before he was extricated? I can't recall how long it, w it took. Okay. But long enough to administer an IV, get fluids started, try to interact with him and smell burning flesh. Do you remember all those things, right? Yes. All right. For the purposes of this discussion, let's assume it was a minute, okay? 2149 to 2150 before he was extricated. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. That means he was under the car for at least 10 minutes right? Yes. It would have been possible for somebody, perhaps, I don't know, the driver, to turn off the vehicle after he discovered that there was somebody trapped under his car. Yes. Right? I mean, that's a, that, that was a decision that could have been made. Yes. But wasn't. Right? Yes. Do you remember any of the police officers expressing any uh, remorse for the decision that had been made to leave the car on on top of Mr. No.